hello guys i am chidate and you're welcome back to my channel and in today's video we're going to be creating the smoky eye look i'm going to be showing you guys how i created this smoky eye look in just four minutes so if you want to see how you created this look then you have to keep watching to begin i'm going to be using my classic lip stain as a base you want to start off with a dark base sometimes i use my gel liner if i'm going for a black smoky eyes but for this because i'm going for not so dark smoky eyes so i prefer to just start off with this but creating a smoky eyes you need to start off with a dark base it really makes the work very very easy i blended that out properly and went ahead with a matte eyeshadow from my eyeshadow palette this is like a very dark shade of purple it looks like dark brown but no this is a very dark shade of purple i placed that on the eyelid and went ahead with a fluffy brush like an eyeshadow blending brush to blend the edges out i am blending now without anything on the brush then i went ahead to pick a very light brown eyeshadow to blend the crease properly because i don't want to have any demarcation between the lid the crease and the brow bone so it's just going to be well blended and without any demarcation then i extended that a little just a little with my blending brush to smoke out the outer corner of the eyes a little bit so i'm just taking the excesses to just smoke it out i'm not taking the eyeshadow directly on that part because if you do that the eyeshadow is going to get to the brows so i just blended that out properly and i'm blending the crease with a very light shade of brown like very light so that part doesn't get darker so i just make sure i keep emphasizing on blending 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 you're achieving a very good eyeshadow is having to blend properly i don't know if that makes sense but you know what i'm trying to say so you just have to keep blending and blending until it's well blended to your satisfaction and i don't know where your satisfaction is but your satisfaction should be well blended without any demarcation so i went into the eyes again with a powder shade this time i'm blending with her powder shade because i just want to blend that part into it and not leave any demarcation there did the same thing on the other part of the eyes smoke the outer corner a little then i went ahead with my powder again to blend the brow bone then to smudge under the eyes i use a very small blending brush with the same eyeshadow i use on the lid to smudge under the eyes this is just going to make the eyes like uniform and give it a very good look having a smoky eyes that smudging under the eyes i think that's going to look weird so it's important you smudge under the eyes and just make it uniform i like smudging under the eyes in almost every makeup i do but when i'm doing my smoky eyes i never miss it even one bit so i went ahead with a darker shade of powder to apply on the beginning part of her nose just to make that contour part darker i contoured that earlier when i was doing the makeup but i just wanted to be a bit darker just to match the, the brows and the eyeshadow because if it's too light it just you know look somehow that's how i feel though then i went ahead to line her eyes with my beyond beauty gel liner when i do a smoky eyes there is really no need extending the liner well that's what i like doing i don't extend the liner when i do a smoky eyes but if you want to do that then totally fine your preference but i usually don't do i just prefer the eyeliner just on the last line and i just end it there then i went ahead with a mascara this mascara is the wing beauty mascara i love the wand of this mascara so i just use it to apply on her lashes before applying the false lashes i did the false lashes off camera then i went ahead to line her eyelid with the same gel liner i used i made sure the gel liner gets tacky a little before applying it on her eyelid so it doesn't enter her eyes and she doesn't tear so i just used my fluffy brush to just just dust out the excess fallout from the eyes there are not much excess though but i just tried to make sure nothing is left on the face then i went ahead to just apply on her tear dot a glitter you can use any glitter of your choice so guys this is the finished look and i hope you like it and at this we have come to the end of this video please give this video a very big thumbs up if you like it subscribe to my channel if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends and anyone who you think might find this video helpful. Turn on the post notification to my post so you'll be the first to be notified when I post new videos. Bye for now and I will see you guys in my next one.